It's Watch List Wednesday. We're kicking off today with our new segment called Overreact to a Trailer. It's something the internet True loves Detective to do. Detective 3 is going to be so fucking dope. It's going to be so good. This uh, I'm like, I'm legitimately very jacked up. For this it. teaser almost made me want to watch True Detective 3 less. Why? Because like nothing fucking happens. I can't, what are you talking I about can't nothing stand happens. the internet overreaction to teasers. Not even trailers, teasers. Like seven second clips, people will take out their dick and start jerking like, off. Did you just have it on? Did no, you watch I, it I mean, I watched it and like, I, I don't know anything about the show. That's your fault. What, what, what's happening? You could have watched happen? it and learned what, things about it. What's going to happen in this season? Okay, so Mahershal Ali is a detective. Well, obviously, this spans decades because we see Mahershal Ali age. That was right? the only thing that I, yeah, that, that we're clearly going to operate on two different timelines. Okay, so we have Mahershala Ali, detective in Fayetteville, Alabama. Well, it's actually, it's in the Ozarks. It was filmed in Fayetteville, Alabama. Um, you see this, the, the kids go by on their bikes, right? Then you see Mahershala Ali taking a picture of a bike like it's a crime scene. Then you see, like, a serial killer of letters that say, Julia and the kids are safe and fine. The kids should laugh. The kids got kidnapped. Mahershala Ali doesn't know the whole story because his brain is a bunch of missing pieces. He says, he says, the things I know, the things I've seen would do more harm than good. He says he wants to know the full story. He has that dope line that this piece is more haunting than anything. That's a Pizzolatto classic right there. I mean, like, you know what, what's happened? What's, the entire premise of the show is that it spans decades. Mahershala Ali forgot things. There was a horrible kidnapping where serial killers sent letters saying that they have the children. How many times did you watch this trailer? I watched it twice. I watched it once last night, and I watched it once before we talked about it. I watched it once, and I, it didn't get me going at all. It was, it's like too vague. It's too, there's no... But it's, like, I just, there, there I just was, described in pretty solid detail with the season. It's yeah, not I mean, that vague. Oh, I mean, okay, I, I, if you're telling me there's a kidnapping and that the detective is investigating it. I, okay. But like, you didn't know that because well, you didn't I, watch it. I, you I just thought, had it on. Okay, you so, had it on when I hate, so true, now, I hate true detective. This is no. Stupid. I, all right, there's a kidnapping. I mean, I, I knew there was going to be a detective researching a crime, John. I don't think you needed to <laughs> But you that. didn't know what the one was, and it's very clear. Right. So, so you didn't kidnapping. watch the trailer. You Fine. can't dislike a trailer. You didn't pay attention that to it. That trailer does, okay, the story of him researching kidnapping does not really move the needle for me. I knew it was going to be a violent crime of some sort. Then what would move the needle? I don't know. That's why, not that trailer. <laughs> I, like, I can't envision, I can't fabricate a trailer that's going to excite me. If, but like, if, there was like, no scene, if a, a there was violent no, crime like, with like, a cool flashback like, like in, and it Remember, remember True Detective season one at the end of like the first or second episode where R Reggie Ledoux came out in his gas mask and he was yeah, like, yeah. like nine feet tall? I was like, holy shit. Something like that. That would have got me excited. Something from an Apple actual episode. Something, something that was like visually like, holy shit, I need to see that episode. There was nothing in that. That when he's got the guy duct taped with a fucking bunch of AKs, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't remember that because I was like, this is not going to be that good. I was like, this, here's a trailer for a show that's going to be poorly written. We also have a, It's also, a, it's, got, HBO. it's got, it's got, the best part is too is they're back to their roots. They got the, the, the creator of Deadwood helped write this thing. The last time there were too many cooks in the kitchen across the board. There were too many directors, too many writers, too little time, too many actors. Now we got one guy. Season one was about Russ Cole. Marty was a great addition. Marty was a good sidekick. I think that was a pretty solid duo right there. It was but. a solid duo, but, but we always talk about Russ Cole. Yep. Russ Cole was the star. Yep. So Mahershal Ali is going to be the star. It's, uh, what's his name? Steven Dorp, who I can't picture where he's from. He's got one of those faces where it's like, oh, I know It's that like guy. he's like a 90s guy, it looks mm -hmm. like. Like, oh, yeah, you were uh, like on red carpets in the 90s with Tara Reid or yeah. something like yep, that. Yep, yep, yep. He just has that look about him. I think it's probably the soul patch. Probably. Um, probably. But he's back in it. And it's like, I think he's going to be the sidekick. Mahershala Ali, who can fucking carry a billion pounds on his shoulders, is going to carry the season. It's going to be awesome. We also got this HBO, like, monster compilation of all the things to come in 2019, highlighted by Game of Thrones clips. I mean, that trailer thing was awesome. It's a that very... was a fucking unbelievable compilation. If I'm, a, if I'm at another network, I watch that, I'm like, oh. Like Netflix, Netflix just beat, they're like oh for the, God. for the first time ever they just beat um, in 2018 they beat HBO. HBO had like a two decade run yeah as the most nominated Emmy channel, and Netflix 2018 was the first time ever that they got nominated for more HBO. HBO was coming back swinging. HBO was like fuck that yeah. we back flex on them. They have like not only do they have this first of all the the people going nuts Game of Thrones people going nuts because there's a scene it, most of those scenes were old scenes. yeah but there was one scene that even looks like an old scene. It's when John and Sansa hug. That is, it looks like when they first met at Castle Rock, okay. Castle Black, um, or is it Castle Rock? I, don't know. I forget. Um, but 
I guess if you look closer, they're actually at Winterfell. Okay, so that's, so that's, that's like from the new okay. one. They have not seen. They've not been. And you know how you want to talk about overreacting to trailer. You give the fucking Game of Thrones fans a little taste of something new, and they're gonna be fiending like, oh my god, they're at Winterfell. Ah. It, it's really, like they, they hugged at Winterfell. Oh my god! And like that's I, I it, don't know what, what I could even think of, but they are the. I'm sure the, the Game of Thrones Reddit threads are going nuts already. Without a doubt. You also got Meryl Streep added to Big Little Lies. That show's going to be fire. What does it cost to make that show? <laughs> like, the, like they, they, people talk about Game of Thrones all the time with how expensive the shots are and how they do, like, three season finales, so even the people doing them <laughs> don't know which one it is. Right. Because they don't want it spoiled. How about like, when you just have, like, 45 Oscar award winning just people Just every single show? monster actress yeah. in the world. I mean, whatever. If, if it works, keep moving. Um, the also, uh, like, the, even in that trailer, which these probably won't come out this year, but, like, they're doing the Spaceman's Wife HBO. Mm-hmm. They're doing uh, the Watchmen. Yeah, that, 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 that's uh, got a series now. Yep. There's uh, there was one other big one too. I forgot what it was. But and shout out to our guys from Pod Save America somehow getting that HBO Tommy. money. Fuck you guys. Tommy, what the fuck? Fuck you guys. Tommy even says hook his, it up. I mean, he's like your opening, like <laughs> hey, like the ten minutes before the KBC radio was on or some shit. So he goes, I don't know how we got here. That's a, yeah. the whole part of the trailer. I don't know how the hell we got here. Fuck you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of Deadwood, Deadwood is coming back by the way. Yeah, it's a movie new, though. New right? se- yeah, is it a movie or a season? I don't know. It's coming back. To you, movie. you, you got to get on Deadwood. I know. The first season, of Deadwood is fucking epic. Uh, very similar to Deadwood, like a new, new age, uh, modernized version. Yellowstone. I am all the way in on Yellowstone. Yellowstone. I mean, I can't think of a show I, I will recommend more than Yellowstone in the past few years. It's that good. It's on the Paramount Network, which is a Spike TV. Anything goes. I mean, Yo. you can fuck, you can show nipples, you can show everything on TV, man. Ass fuck, like just saying the word fuck. Hard fucking. Big like, time fuck. They throw up against the wall, like, like fucking fucking. But you know what? I, I do have to bring a little negative aspect to it here. No, you, you can't. Good, good, I've, try, go ahead. I, I, it won't be negative. The daughter mm-hmm. is the wife from no, Vince that. Vaughn's wife in season two. And now I just think of her as that. And all her lines, which I probably thought were good before I realized it, come off as corny. No, 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 they're good. You have to watch the rest of the season. You're going to love her by the end, man. She is one, like the one, one she, fucked up lost soul. She, she is fucks, broken. She fucks one of the cow hands, and she says something as she's walking out of the room, like, I always remembered your dick being bigger. And then she closes the door, and she goes, and you hear from the other room, go, guess that's just the nostalgia in me. And it's like... That sounds really corny now that I realize who you are. Dude, watch the rest of the season. I promise you, you'll be in love with Ben Dutton. Kevin Costner, badass. I I, I watch Yellowstone and I realize how much of a pussy I am. (laughs) I am not a man. I am not masculine. Mm. These guys are fucking, when men were men and they're riding horses and they're drinking whiskey and fucking chicks and fighting. That's what life should be about. uh, it's, It's bad. Like historically and, and things like that, sociologically. But I'll tell you what, man, I love a good cowboy and Indian story. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> like, the Indians just keep being like, you stole it's, our it's, land! It's and a little like, bit Don't one-sided. care anymore, I'm keeping all of it. It's a little bit of a one-sided fight, but uh, it plays on television. Let me tell you mm. a little quick little story, by the way. I got beef with Verizon Fios. I watched the entire season. I'm on episode nine, the season finale. I actually say to myself, Kevin, you don't want to burn through the whole season already. You want to, you want to, you want, you want something to look forward to. So I stopped watching. I watched some baseball. I go back. The finale is just poof off of on demand. Really? It was gone. I had to wait till the next day. So the lesson here is always binge through the whole thing. Watch TV whenever you possibly can. Uh, we got this magic show on Netflix, Magic for Humans. The clip is going viral where they seemingly convince two dudes that they are invisible. I cannot imagine this is real, but much like Santa Claus, I choose to believe they convince, with a bunch of actors, they convince these guys that they are actually invisible and cannot be seen. And if there's any real, if there's any realness to it, it's fucking hilarious. It's very, very funny. But wouldn't you just grab someone? Well, he, he taps people on the shoulders, but, and they react. They're like, because they're like, I couldn't see you. Oh, you know okay, what I mean? They, okay, so that he does try to, like at one point he, he's going through someone's bag and he pulls out a bottle of wine and they're like, look, the bottle's floating. <laughs> so he, they, they do just play into it as if there's an invisible person walking around. I mean, the brain in me is telling me that it's not real. But like I said, choose to believe. Yeah, it's, it's, a, Kev, it's a Kevin from The Office. I, I, I relate that to Kevin from The Office rather than uh, Santa Claus. But it's like, come on, man, believe in something. And this was... Just watching, and it's kind of one of those things where, yes, it's, it's stereotypical. It's one of those things where you kind of go like, 
a, a black guy reacting to comedy is funny. Man. Like uh, it's a very black funny. guy reacting to magic is funny. When ten he's times sitting there, he's sweating like he's uh, pit when, stains like his KFC. Bro, when he's, he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's just like, oh. <laughs> when they reveal him and he's back, they pull the the blanket off. He's going. <laughs> like, gang, gang, I'm back. I'm back from being invisible. All right, we're wrapping up today with on the list and off the list. Off the list for me is The Sinner season two. I came in hot two. and like season uh, episode three and four. I'm like, this just seems like a mess. I don't know where it's going. I don't know what's happening. Season one had such a like specific storyline to follow. Jessica Biel was awesome. Harry Ambrose was new. Now it's kind of like I love Carrie Coon, but I don't know. See, I, I, I stopped I, at episode two, and it, I, I'm probably I'm gonna go back to it. Yeah. But it's like like all of last season and season one and two, this, or episode one and two this year, it was like Wednesday night. I'm putting on the center. Yes. I you know what happened? It was Wednesday night, ten o'clock came around. I turned off Yellowstone, started to watch the center, and I was like, eh, I'm going back to Yellowstone. That's, That's how I know. Work. Yeah. So off the list is center. On the list coming out uh, August 31st, Jack Ryan. Jim from The Office, John Krasinski is back. I don't think I've ever, ever come out with this. I'm a humongous Jack Ryan guy. Love. I mean, you watched every single Jack Ryan movie the other night. I, I watched, I love Jack One Ryan. One night. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm a big, 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 big Jack Ryan fan. Uh, I think it's all wildly entertaining. This has got pretty good reviews. I think it's like three and a half to four out of five stars is what it seems to be getting. It's like, you know, an, an entertaining thing. It's, it's John Krasinski. John Krasinski, it's gonna get huge shows just because like, People love John Krasinski. Love him. My mom, I was home this weekend, my mom was like, on her smart TV, was like, John, make sure you get my Amazon app. And I said, well, why do you need the Amazon app? You, what's You're the thing? She's, she's like, I've been, I've been paying for Prime for 10 years. I never order anything on Amazon. I'm, I'm ready to start taking advantage of that. I want to watch a new John Krasinski show. It's like, you're going to hate it. You don't even like action shows. No. She's like, oh, is that John what it's Krasinski. about? Like, he is, Jack Ryan, but he, it doesn't matter. It's he just, might be one of the John few be, like universally beloved people. Yeah, like I've never met anybody who's like fuck John Krasinski. I don't. I, I don't know if he can pull this off. To be honest, though. I ah uh, well, like he, he did the thirteen hours. He was pretty good in thirteen hours. I mean, thirteen hours was like it was like eh. it, was, it was. To me, was to me, it's always movie. like well, this is Jim from The Office being trying to be an actor. See, he star. doesn't. He doesn't come off to me as Jim from the Office. Like, does Steve Carell Steve, still Steve Carell from The Office? Do you? No, but I John Krasinski still is. See, uh, he has. I mean, Steve Carell's gone on to do a lot. John Krasinski has not done enough for me to shake Jim from the office. I don't, always I don't think out. it has to do so much with his acting or with like his his professional career. I think it, like him and Kimmel have like that fun little beef, and he's always like Buzzfeed's always talking about he him. Got his, he's, he's like a power couple with Emily Blunt. Yeah, he's done enough other things, or he's just like he's visible enough that it's not always related right back to Jim. Do you know what I need him to do? He needs to be a villain. And you know what else you don't know? I don't want him to be like a fucking he grew a beard. rapist one time. Or he grew something. a beard. Yeah, that too. That yeah. helps. The beard. The I mean, beard he's totally so young as Jim. Yeah. Like I don't look, look at Neil Patrick Harris as fucking Doogie Howser. Doogie Howser anymore. It's like you just look so different. Jim. I mean, it was 15 years ago. He needs to do more. He will still be Jim from the Office, unless Jack Ryan is is that baller shit. So that'll be August 31st. Tom Clancy on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime doesn't get enough love either. You know what? It's getting Sne there. Sneaky Pete was so good. Awesome. Like, you know, season two of that. Sneaky Pete was awesome. I'm almost positive they're doing season two. I almost. But I feel like that was like two years ago that came out. Goliath is good too. Amazon Prime is bringing the heat. Netflix better watch your ass because Hulu and Amazon Prime. I spend so much noise. goddamn money on television. As you should. It's wild. It's the most important thing in the world. Spend money on a high quality couch. Somebody sponsor us. And a television because they're the most important two things in your entire life. Let us know what's on your list, what's off the list. Tweet us at KFC Radio and we'll talk about it next week on The Watch List. Riverdale. Bye. Riverdale. <laughs> These fucking guys with their really, Riverdale. Really struggling to get this up. I, I think your finest work is something that never made it to air. Oh, I got I lay it on me. The the it. improv scene in uh, Step Brothers. Oh, where you yeah, are the heart just attack. Ro yeah, the heart <laughs> attack where you're roasting Brennan. How does that get cut from the movie? I believe me. Um, I talked to Adam McKay about it, and he was like, "It breaks my heart to cut it." Yeah, it tested through the roof when they were testing the movie. Where they're like. The one comment the guy was never cut this scene. Yeah, and they had to because Why? <laughs> the 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 overall storyline for Will's character, um, in that scene he was too passive. The heart attack scene, and they wanted him to be more aggressive huh. about wanting the Catalina wine mixer. Got it. So he that's where you, yeah he was like I want it I want it bro you know I want to snap necks and cash checks i want right, ass you know right. all that so that his character had to lean into it more so 
and that was a reshoot. The whole pal scene was a reshoot. Okay. Um, which we also improvised uh, that entire yeah, scene yeah, as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. But the the first scene was we shot during pr- principal photography, the one with the heart attack. And again, we were improvising so much on that movie. It was the most fun I've ever I, had on a movie. I feel you get a script and you're just like, all right, whatever, maybe. Well, <laughs> when, when, you're, when you're doing stuff but... with Adam McKay and Will Ferrell, yeah, it really can it can be just like that. You right. could make a you could make two more movies off what's left on the cutting room floor right. uh, of his movies, and. So and he's he's down for improv, improvising Adam and Will because Adam's over in Video Village screaming How about this you know you're like <laughs> Oh my God that's genius Let's do it again Go yeah and yeah, yeah So we we started doing that scene and uh, we just started screwing around and in the I was getting so worked up talking about the balls <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the balls <laughs> um, purple head yeah, and so, the so I, I I on one of the takes I got so <laughs> a- animated and amped up and visualizing it, and, and I started bulging the neck. That I, I gave, I just went, oh, and I had, a, I lo- and I went down, and uh, Will started just, he couldn't get enough, like, and so, so then, uh, that's when Adam Scott walks in, right? I think, and then I, <gasps> I but it, what happened was I was willing to be dead for the whole scene, but yeah. but then I realized I'm missing out on all this stuff, so I. I, I just literally I go I'm coming back to life. Fuck this. So I I just came back to life, it's and then so that good. made that made Will lose it even more. And so then we and we just like, hey, it was all you get here? <laughs> it was all free for we were literally just trying to kill each other, and it worked. And we just made each other laugh. Like when we were That's, at that when we were actually at the Kelly and Wine Mixer, there's also I think there's some footage of uh, the in the blooper reel or whatever the extras on that DVD, where you remember when I tell him he's got to change his face. Yeah. <laughs> Or I'm gonna change it for him. <laughs> there, we did so many different passes at that. Like I came up to him because Randy, my character, is just this f- high octane liability. Yeah, you know, he's just bad news. I play one. Of, uh, I play Adam Scott's henchman. You know, I'm one yeah. of you know his brother's henchman. But I'm just this. I'm a hot mess, clearly. <laughs> and so, like, we did passes where I came up and I'd be like, I'd be like, hey, Brendan, uh, come here. You know, and I was like, uh, and I'd be all coked out. <laughs> and I'd be like, uh, how do you get a, like, hypothetically, how would you get a body off an island? You know, and just, and he'd be like, uh, well, I don't know, you know, is, is there a problem? I go, no, there's no fucking problem. What, what did you hear, you know? And we, so, we, and then they'd be, great, do another one. Literally, they'd go, great, do another one. So I'd come in and we'd try something else. And we'd try, well, there's like five takes that are all totally different. But it was, how can I, the, uh, the objective was, how can I make, life hard for Will's character. Right. How can I make it really hard for him? <laughs> and so we would get tickled and I couldn't get through the, we would like break up and, and I generally don't break in scenes Yeah. and neither does Will generally. Yeah, like yeah. two like but kings we of would, improv. But we like... would get the giggles on this stuff because we realized the absurdity of what we were saying. <laughs>